How's it going guys? It's Mask here. Now today we're diving into another three-star advent dungeon. We have the secret pub Sharon advent. Whoa, Sharon. Whoa. Okay, so. <laughs> uh, once again, I, I, you guys were so right. Reading feedback from the comments. So many people were suggesting, please dive into the three-star advent dungeons more often. It's more realistic content. The average player, this we, you gotta do the three star advents before the four stars. So here we are, uh, let's let's just jump right in here. We got, first thing you always wanna do when you're looking at advent dungeons is check the party info. So we have Olive offering our team 100% charm immunity, Annulet offering our team 100% freeze immunity, Cordelia offering our entire team a 50% attack buff, Sniper Yan, Clarice, their no-goes, not really too high on anyone's bring to an advent dungeon list, if you ask me, in the first place. Uh, the 50% attack bonus for your entire team obviously would be beautiful. Uh, amulet, freeze immunity, and charm immunity. I can go ahead and tell you that the freeze immunity is, plays a does not play a huge part in this dungeon. Uh, it's a very small mechanic in the second wave on a little tiny mob. The charm immunity is in uh, is from the end boss. It, it it is definitely a benefit, and Olive is a great single target nuker. And you're going to use Olive in more than one dungeon. So that's a great unit to build if you have Olive. It, uh, it it would be an improvement to the run and your team for sure. Now, before going into any of these advent dungeons, and in all of these advent dungeon videos. Once again, thanks to the comments below the vi the comments below the videos that I read and get feedback from you guys. I'm now always going to make sure I show you my entire team. Now I'm going to show you these pages quick to speed things up. If you want to see the stats in detail and really compare your heroes to mine, you can pause the video. So here's the main my main stat page for Morgan. I have her stats spread here, her runes, her runes rune stats on the right. You can you can tell the set bonus on the left. And with the right stats, you can sort of decipher what the substats are. We have our hero, hero talent page. I'm going to slowly scroll through here. Be able to tell what all of her talents are just by looking at this page here. And uh, that's Morgan. So we got Ramu. Main stat page. Overall stat page. Rune page. And hero talents. Good old 12k combat power. We got Electra at 13.8k combat power. Here's her raw stats. Her in-depth stat page. Her runes. And her hero talents. Oop, go through this one a little slower for you. And we got Ruby. 13k combat power. We got her in-depth stat page. Her rune page. And her hero talents. And last but not least, I got Rue. You can see her main page here. Just under 10k combat power. She's she's new to the team. No purple stars yet. We have her an in-depth stat page. Her rune page. And her hero talents. Alright, there's the team. Uh, I do have Cordelia. I highly consider bringing her along for that 50% attack buff for my entire team. But I haven't leveled her up or got her ready at all yet and i'm dead broke on gold now so uh she's a liability i, I really want to finish the dungeon with everyone alive at three stars bringing her along i'm just worried she's gonna die too easily uh we'll see like when it, when it actually comes down to farming this dungeon on repeat that's when you're gonna start ironing out the kinks is it worth bringing her i mean once you once you stat her up it's definitely worth bringing her and cordelia is a repeat uh buff in advent dungeons more than once do you see her come in as a buff so definitely a unit worth uh maxing out now on the first wave you just have these monkeys that keep multiplying uh, i i tend to focus down this monkey right here he seems to be the boss the one actually doing the multiplying the rest of them take excessive damage after their first attack they get a debuff that uh simply makes them take more damage there's rue that skill one getting those defense breaks out I love it. I have her built uh, like 70% multi-strike to totally take advantage of getting as many of those skill ones out and that's synergizing with her talent that has a 50% chance to debuff, to defense break an enemy when you use skill one. So if, you, if she multi-strikes, 
statistically, she should be also adding a defense break to one enemy every time she uses skill one. And at a 70% chance to multi-strike, she's going to do that more often than not. So, for the most part, this is a standard tank and spank. I always focus that first monkey on the far left because he's the one that seems to do the multiplying. So it just prevents him from being able to bring back more alts. Now, this second wave, this is where the freeze mechanic comes in. And it is only on this far left mob here. Uh, it simply freezes anyone who attacks him for two turns. A little bit annoying. I tend to leave him and focus the one in the middle. Because the one in the middle, after he attacks you, he's going to uh, become huge. And then his next turn, he blows up and kind of does like an enrage attack. As you can see, he's blown up here. So I continue to focus him down. I'll go ahead and even use a skill too here, just to guarantee we're getting this uh, kill. The enrage doesn't hurt a whole lot, but it, it hurts enough that it's quite annoying. And then I focus down the guy on the right, just so we don't, uh, don't have to deal with the freezing. Every time you attack the, the mob on the left, you get frozen. So while that's happening, let's have the least amount of enemies on the field. Electra should finish him off. Now, like I said, we'll be dealing with freezing every time we attack. Now, because we have Rue in the team, the freezing really isn't a big deal. She even unfreezes herself. It's hilarious. Ruby should do some serious damage with that element advantage. A good 10k hit. And... We have four members frozen, but Rue's going to unfreeze everybody. So the secret pub boss, Sharon, she charms you on her counterattacks. That's going to be the buff that she has right up here. Charms the target for one turn upon counterattacking. Uh, Rue, this is hilarious. Boom, boom, boom. Gets the multi-attack in. And like I said, like clockwork, because she gets the multi-attack in, she gets the decreased defense. Never turning back. That's such a great talent combo to have when you build her multi-strike. And uh, Sharon enrages. Damn, I think she enrages just, a, 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 she enrages at like 60K. So we want to, I want to try to burst her from above that. So we have, we spend the lowest possible time with her in her enrage. Morgan, okay, no, it's 50K. She didn't enrage, she enrages at 50K. So we're almost good. You're gonna get the least number of counterattacks in. When you when she gets under 50k, she gets a buff that's a guaranteed counterattack. So let's go for a Ruby skill three here. That's gonna put her in enrage. There is the huge attack coming out. Really, Morgan? You're gonna use your skill one twice? Come on. Summoning more minions. So the yeah, so the enrage happens right about at 50k. As long as we can burst her down. Uh, I mean, if I was able to use Morgan's skill three, she probably could have crit and like one shot her from uh, from 60k. Well, not would have done at least 40. If her and and uh, Ramu could have went, that would have been great. And I got a Sharon to drop. Fantastic. This wasn't my first clear either. So this was an actual drop. It means I got at least two SR advents from this dungeon today. But um, that's going to be it. It's a very straightforward run. Uh, a couple mechanics to look out for in, in the second wave. I mean, what monkey to focus on. The first one's kind of important. And uh, watching out for Sharon's charm, of course, in that last wave. I have, like this one, it's not one I really need to show you guys a second time. Just a quick reminder. Olive, Annulet. Annulet's not really going to change anything. We don't need her. We really don't. As long as you have a cleanser on your team, those, the freeze freeze really isn't even a problem anyway. Olive, fantastic single target nuker. He's going to, uh, sorry. Uh, I'm just going to say Olive is going to uh, nuke down the boss just as well as anyone else will. And Cordelia just enabling everyone to nuke down the boss better. And these are two fantastic units to build. So if you guys can build these up, it's going to make this way easier. And I believe both of them are used in the Teo... Uh, four star advent dungeon which you're working towards being able to clear anyhow so go ahead uh build those units up and that'll make this a breeze this was a zero helping uh zero helping unit run to be able to clear this but uh, that'll do it for today's 
Advent Dungeon video, guys. Hope you hope you enjoyed it. Get into these. Get into the share in Advent. It's really not that hard a one. Start farming those SRs. Get those third and fourth purple stars on your SSR units and chase after the fourth, fifth, and maxed out sixth purple star on your SR units, like Saya, like Olive, like uh, Cordelia, like Esmeralda, all the SR units that are you need to clear some of these Advent Dungeons because they just give you such incredible buffs by bringing them along. But uh, as always, grab my Facebook or my Twitter link out of the description down below. Look me up on social media. That's how you'll know when more content's coming out, when I'm going live on, uh, on Twitch. You can also find that link down there. Uh, I do have a link to my Discord in the description down below as well. I'm working on revamping it and uh, updating it and adding a Knight's Chronicle section. I'd love to get a conversation start or get the conversation started in Discord. That'd be great. Uh, lots of theory crafting to do on tons of things and even just to have people to talk to at any time. Like, hey guys, I'm thinking about uh, how this combo works on this guy. Like, what do you think about this team? It'd be great. Working towards that. And as always, my reminder, check out the top link in the description. It's a link to download Bluestacks. You can play Knights Chronicle on your computer. Take advantage of that computer processing power, uh, better graphics, and of course, save your cell phone battery. Download and check it out, guys. Use that link in the description down below. It'll prompt you to immediately install Knights Chronicle, save you some time, and of course, it helps me out every time you use the link. I appreciate it a lot. But uh, thanks a lot again. Smash that subscribe button, guys, and stay classy.